Hi everybody, welcome back to Crafted by Corey. If you're new, I'm Corey. Welcome to my channel. If you're returning, thank you so much for being here. Sorry about the clanging in the back. That is Sammy drinking water out of his water bowl. <laughs> he might come and pop in and visit with us in a little bit. But I am super excited because I have a Dollar Tree haul from this might actually be four different states. So most of it is from the vacation that I took up in Massachusetts and Maine. And I hit up some Dollar Trees on my vacation. Um, I also had an opportunity to meet Devin, the freckled mom. If you haven't checked out her channel, you'll want to do that. I absolutely adore her. She is such a sweetheart. And she and I met up just outside of Boston while I was there and we went shopping. So most of this is from my trip with her. And then I picked up some other things along the way while I was in Maine. And then just a few things from here back home in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into what I found and what I've gotten. Some of this stuff is not going to be new to you, but I've never worked with it before. For instance, I've seen other people pick up these Hot Wheels tracks, and I actually do have a DIY in mind for them, which is why I picked them up. So I got a bunch of these, so stay tuned for that. It'll be, a, I think it's going to be a fall project. It might be a winter project, but I think it'll be a fall project. Then I found, so my Dollar Tree has always had the darker wood color um, contact paper. I found the lighter color, so I picked up some of that because I've never found that here. I saw these cute little... Now, I have yet, oh, I just realized mine's missing the light. Normally, these come with little lights in here that you can turn on, then they glow through. Oh, my light. I don't know, maybe fell out in the bag and I'll find it later. But um, but I've never seen the little nautical ones at my Dollar Tree. I think they're super, super cute, especially if you like put it on a tear tray with your coastal decor, that sort of thing. You can paint it up to be however you would like. And then here's another one. This is a little lighthouse. This one does have the light in it. So hopefully I'll find the little light that went to that. I don't know. But I just, I am super into the coastal recently. Love it. And then I have a bunch of florals. I've been really excited that Dollar Tree has been getting all of their fall florals in and just love it. So I've got a bunch of these sun, would you call these sunflowers? I don't know if they're really technically sunflowers, but some sort of, I don't know. So I got a bunch of those, and then I got these little ball things. And so wait a minute, what are these, what are these called? Sunflowers, they are called sunflowers. Okay, so I guess they are, sorry if I'm hitting my microphone, um, some type of sunflower. But then I also got these little ball things and I did just recently DIY it with them. I think it was my last video, actually. And I think they're so flipping cute. And they are called flocking balls. I don't know if that is the real word for it, if these are like a real thing in nature, or if this is just a cute thing that Dollar Tree came up with, but flocking ball, that's literally what it says. But I think they are super cute, so I'm just going to try and keep things contained. If you've seen my hauls before, you know I usually end up with stuff everywhere. So, all right, so these right here, before I get into the Maine and Massachusetts, the rest of it, um, I just found these the other day at my Dollar Tree because they are finally starting to get some of the fall stuff in near me. And I thought these were really, really cute. So they are LED lights and these are little tiny pumpkins. I don't know if you can see them. And so the Dollar Tree lights are three foot strands and they have 10 lights on them. So there are these little pumpkins and then they had bigger pumpkins and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it in the package because they're kind of like tucked down in there but you can kind of see they're a little bit bigger and again 10 lights on them and then they also had fall leaves and I just thought they were so cute and again the two different size leaves and these are more like a red and these are an orange so I just think for maybe a wreath or I don't know. You could put them on everything. Tear tray again, if you just wanted to have some fun little lights on your tear tray, that works. And then I also, placards. I love having these like in my bag when I'm going somewhere, just in case I need, you know, 
I just like these. So I picked up some of those as well. <clears throat> And then, so this is always so exciting. And you know what? My vacation was beginning of July. And so I'm only just getting to this haul and I've been meaning to get to it, meaning to get to it because I want to start crafting with this stuff. So it's just taking me a little time to get to it. Now these, I believe were from the, yes, these are from Pennsylvania. So at the Pennsylvania store out near where Rich lives, sorry for the crinkling, cause I'm sure that's loud. They had these little pom-pom balls. Again, might not be new to you, but I haven't seen these in my Dollar Trees before. So these are black little pom-poms. And then they also had, you know, I have more of them. I think I got orange. I did. Yep. So little orange pom-poms. I think they had yellow also, but I didn't get the yellow ones. And it's suddenly occurring to me that I probably should have gotten yellow and then tried, to, oh, and I did get white. I should have gotten the yellow ones too, because you know what it's all of a sudden making me think of? Candy corn. And you could stack the little pom-poms together and make little candy corns for your tiered tray or something. Wouldn't that be cute? I might have to go back and get the yellow ones. We'll see. So I got those. This is completely random, but I got some socks. If you guys have watched my channel for a little bit, you know I like to use socks to make um, gnomes. So who knows? There might be another gnome in my future. We will see. And then, yeah, Twix. I got these for Rich. He hasn't been able to eat them yet because they're for my haul. <laughs> I just, I love the candy aisle at the Dollar Tree. They have so much stuff and it's big, like Kit Kats. And like, did I get sweet tarts this time? I normally get sweet tarts. I think I refrained this time because I probably still have more here at home. But, um, and I'm sorry, this is kind of like all over the place and I don't have all the crafting stuff together and then whatnot, but I have not seen these yet at my Dollar Tree either, but it's a water brush. So have you guys seen the water brush pen? I thought this would be really cool, especially when I'm gonna do decoupage. If you have ever watched what I do when I am getting my tissue paper or my napkin prepared and tearing out the little pieces that I'm gonna use, I use a paintbrush with water to go around it to wet where I wanna tear, and it just makes it a lot easier to tear out the pieces. And then I saw these cute little glass containers. I thought these were so adorable. These actually are glass. Um, they are four of them in here, 0.5 fluid ounces. I was at my friend Dorothy's house um, for a bridal shower. Sorry, my daughter's door is squeaking. Um, for a bridal shower a few weeks ago, and I saw something she had on one of her walls, and I loved it. And I was like, I'm going to make that. <laughs> so I was like taking pictures of her decor. She probably thinks I'm an absolute nut, but she's known me for a long time. She knows I'm a little bit nutty, but... Um, then I got another little birdhouse. I have seen these before, not recently in my Dollar Tree, but I have an idea for that. So that is going to be fun. Oh, I have a receipt there I need to take care of. Um, also, Sudoku, Sudoku, I can't even say it right, but I love this. I love little numbers games. Crossword puzzles, not so much. I just, for whatever reason, I don't do well with words. I do better with numbers. So, so the su Sudoku, again, I do better with numbers than words. Sudoku is a fun thing that I like to do. I also got these, oh, sorry, I'm hitting my microphone. I also got these cute little bottles. Again, these are glass and I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. But I saw my friend um, Devin, Freckled Mom, put little message in a bottle for, I think it was for um, the mini challenge. It was definitely a mini project that she did. I thought it was so cute and clever. She put little messages in the bottle. So there's that. And let's see, get rid of that bag. What else have I got here? Oh, I was amazed. And I think they're gonna smell really pretty. So they have these little diffusers so that for like scenting the air, what are they called? I know what I'm talking about, but I can't read a diffuser. That's what I meant to say. So they had these little reed diffusers and this one is raspberry Prosecco and this one is beachy keen. And I'm like really looking forward to trying them out and seeing how they work. 
and if you're not familiar with what a reed diffuser is, they have these little, um, it's like a little bottle with your fragrance in it and you have reeds and you drop the reeds into the bottle and the scent gets absorbed into the reed and then it disperses out into the air and it makes your room smell pretty. So let me show you if I can get it open. It doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. Okay, so I'm stuck to the base of the box. <laughs> so look at how cute this is. And it's got the little, and it's pretty too, you know, so you don't mind having it like on a little shelf in your bathroom and you take your little reeds, they're just bound together with a piece of tape or something. So you undo them and put them loose. You take off the cap, drop them in, and they absorb and disperse the scent. So I'm excited to try these because I like it when my house smells pretty. So, especially the bathroom, right? So I got those and then also got some car um, air fresheners. So vent clips. So one of these is fresh linen and the other one is cool breeze. I like the fresh scents. So anything that's like beachy, like ocean waves or pine or, you know, stuff like that. The fresh linen, like those are the scents that I tend to like. I like the things that are just nice and clean smelling. So got that. Okay, now on to the uh, Massachusetts main bag. I've got a ton of stuff in here, you guys, and I don't even remember everything that I got, but I'm excited. So, First thing, I, they have a bunch of these reusable bags. Now, what's interesting, up in, I'm trying to remember if it was the same in Massachusetts or if it was only Maine, but the Dollar Tree is up there and it might be coming our way. They do not use plastic bags anymore. Done. So, and there wasn't, paper wasn't an option. So you had to use your reusable, excuse me, reusable bags. So I picked up a bunch of these. I thought they were super cute. Today is full of possibilities. Make your dreams happen. Spread kindness. And there's another one that is actually upstairs in my bedroom because I started using it already, but it was pink. And I can't remember what it says on it, but it's another inspirational, positive message that I absolutely love. But these are a really nice size. And I don't want to bust the bag, so I'm not going to rip the thing off of it. But they open up pretty large so nice little tote bag right and i like the shape of them too i just think that they're super cute so i got those i've been using those for my grocery shopping or when i go to costco because costco doesn't have bags either right so like that apparently i liked these so much that i forgot that i got them <laughs> in Maine or Massachusetts, and I got the same one, Raspberry Prosecco. So at least I'm consistent, right? Okay, there was another one. <laughs> More Raspberry Prosecco. All right, so I got this fun little garbage can, or maybe it will be a planter, I don't know. So I have that, and then I've got something wrapped in paper to protect it. I think I know what this is. I believe this is, yes, sand from my favorite beach. So Rich wanted to get these um, because when we start going on more vacations, we'll be able to collect sand at our different beaches and we'll be able to, you know, maybe I can do something with my little joy and, you know, as a reminder of what beach we pick these up at. So there's that. This, I've got, we got a few of those, so that's what these are. I'm just gonna set them to the side, get them out of the way. Um, I was really on a scent kick, apparently. So these are, are these essential oils? Guys, I usually like to not have my glasses on when I'm doing these with you because I um, get a glare in my glasses, so I apologize for the glare, um, but I can't read without them. So um, soothing sandalwood, coconut and citrus. These are fragrance oils. And I think I was thinking I could add them to um, my candles when I make candles. This says 
Add a few drops of oil while the diffuser is cold. Turn it on and wait until the fragrance spreads throughout the room. So I guess if you have like a, oh, this is, I have one of those too though. So this is for the little air diffusers. Okay. So, and they have them at Dollar Tree, the little air diffusers. If you haven't seen them, they're about this big and you add some drops to it. And I'm assuming you plug it into the wall. I haven't purchased one of those. I have a different kind. Um, and then that works that way. And I also got iced lemon biscotti and Palo Santo. I don't know what Palo Santo is. I will have to figure out what that smells like because I have no idea. Palo Santo. I don't know, but it looks cool. So then I got some of these little um, soup mug things. So it's obviously it's like a plastic mug with a lid on it. But what I really like is that it's got the little pop-up thing. So when you microwave it, you don't have to take the lid off. So it's not going to splatter everywhere. And you can just pop the vent so it doesn't explode in the microwave, right? So I thought that was fantastic. So I got a couple of those. Ah, check it out. They have the paint edgers and we are in the process of painting Rich's place right now because we're going to be putting it on the market. And so these little doodads help you get along the edge of the corners and the ceiling without getting paint where you don't want it. So super handy. And they, oh, I see some other stuff that I'm excited about. I get excited about kind of strange things, you guys. <laughs> but check out these work gloves. And I mean, they are solid, right? A dollar. A dollar. I'm taking my glasses off again until I have to read. <laughs> so, so we got a couple of pairs of the work gloves because they're great for the garden or for just doing, you know, work, uh, yard work. Um, yeah, they're probably a little much for crafting, <laughs> but I love them. Uh, I also picked up some paint brushes. Now these are for my crafting. This one fell out of the thing. These are one inch brushes. They have a whole bunch of different sizes. So really fantastic. Very helpful. Thank you, Dollar Tree. What have I got here? Oh, and I always love these. So if you haven't seen me talk about this, this is the double-sided tape. Love this. You roll it right along your surface, lift it up, and then you've got the double, it's already adhered on the one side, and you've got the other sticky side that's sticking up. So I, I picked up a whole bunch of those. Love them. I also discovered, now I have seen the metal tins in my Dollar Tree that have the magnets on the back, but these are like bigger and they're plastic and the, the lids are more secure. The metal ones that I have, I don't ever want to like, like magnetize them to, you know what I mean? I don't want to stick them to anything like this because the lid falls off, but not these. These are great and they're a little bit bigger. So I'm excited about these. So I've got those. I also got some Rise with the Tide to go coffee cups. So I think these are really cool. And Devin was telling me that she likes to have a bunch of these on hand because that way if she's got people who are visiting, she doesn't mind going ahead and sending one of these home with them. And it's like a really nice cup that they can reuse and it's not creating trash, right? Um, and she doesn't mind not seeing it again because there are two of them here. So it's 50 cents for a cup, right? So if you've got somebody who need some coffee to be on their way that works out well i forgot about this look look at how pretty it's an acorn i believe this is glass i'm fairly certain that it's glass i don't know if it tells me but it's so pretty i love it so i got that i think this is another similar something Sorry for all the crinkling of the paper, you guys. Yes. So this one in like a copper tone. So my friend Chemo from ChemoCraft would love this because he was on a copper kick for a while. He might still be. I have to check in with him. I'm kind of behind on what everybody is doing. Um, here's another one of my mug things. All right. This is like Christmas because I can't remember what I got. But it's this one. 
This one looks like a little pine cone. Isn't that cute? So cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. They might just go on my tiered trays. I'm not really sure. But I got that. And then I got another pine cone in the silver. Again, I, I'm pretty sure these are glass. So you want to be careful with them if you're going to get them. And then, so these, it says that they are hair spirals but they just look like little springs to me. And so I'm thinking there might be something I can do with springs. I don't know what yet. I feel like I had something in mind when I grabbed them. So I'm sure inspiration will strike again, but for the time being, got that there. And then I did pick up some of these candle making sets because I think they are so sweet and so cute to just make little fun candles would be a nice little gift to take to somebody's house if you're going for a quick visit and you just wanted to have a little something on hand for them just make a quick little candle and more paintbrushes and then i also i thought this was really cool i have not seen anything like this at my dollar tree so it's um dimensional right so the gather is cut out and it's like there's a lot of there's like a gap behind it <laughs> oh, you guys so but gather again not sure yet what i'm going to do but i'll figure something out to do with that so there's that and then they had these cute little letter boards not sure what i'm going to do with it yet but it's like a little foam letter board with all the little letters that come with it. So you can create a little sign for your space. And then what else? I found fishnet in like an actual like natural fishnet color. Because before around me, I only was able to find it in like a lime green color. So... I was excited to find it in a normal shade. That made me happy. And then a whole bunch of these stickers. Look at how cute these are. Sorry for the glare. Laugh, believe, dream, love, inspire, cheers, hope. So they've got these cute little buttons on them. They're like layered. And then these rub-on transfers I thought were really cool. They're like gold, right? And the backing is black. I think only so you can see the gold. I don't think the black has anything to do with it. So how pretty are those going to be? And I got extras. So maybe there will be a giveaway in the near future as I use these and show them off on my channel. You'll have to stay tuned. And then they had some with shells and marine life. Got some extras of those too. And then they also had butterflies. So I thought they were really pretty. So I'm excited to try those. And then I had not seen these, nor have I seen people haul these yet, but I just could have missed something, who knows. But they have the galvanized metal tags. Look how cute that is. There are three in here and they're, they're like solid, like galvanized metal. So I got a bunch of those. And then they also had stars galvanized stars again three of them in there and then i got a bigger galvanized star i haven't seen any of the metal pieces at my dollar trees so i was really excited to see them when i was up in new england and then i got this one and a heart because valentine's day will be here at some point eventually. <laughs> Can you believe it's already August, you guys? Seriously, it's just going way too fast. Um, and then I got these days until the big day, it says on it. So if you're counting down for your wedding day, I still don't have a date yet. We'll figure it out. We're working on it one day at a time. <laughs> There's just so much going on right now. Um, but I also figured that I could pop the heart off and use these for other things or leave the heart on and put some other something on it. Who knows? I haven't figured that out yet either, but I will. And then I mentioned Sudoku. Here's another one. I, I just I enjoy those games. 
And then what else do I have here? I've got always in good mood. And this is a rub on. Can you imagine? This is a rub on. It's huge, right? I didn't find very many of them, but I thought it was really cool that they had such a large rub on transfer. So keep your eyes out for some of the larger rub ons. And then what is this? Calligraphy. So I can practice my, um, my hand lettering. So I know sometimes um, you guys will comment that I have really pretty handwriting. My handwriting is not pretty, <laughs> trust me. If you've ever gotten a card from me, my handwriting is not very pretty, but my hand lettering is, um, is okay. You know, I, I've got room for improvement, but it's because you take your time and you're more drawing the letters than writing the letters, if that makes sense. So this is a little calligraphy, create and share colorful Crayola calligraphy. So I got that to practice my hand lettering. And then I got Numbrics. This is the other kind of number game that I like to play. So keeps me busy, you know? I usually like to do that when I am um, getting ready to just wind down and go to sleep. It helps with my brain, shutting my brain down, I guess, or something, <laughs> I don't know. And you guys, look at what I found. I found a whole bunch of them. So I will be doing giveaways with these. You can be sure of it, because I know that these have been super hard for people to find. So I got a whole bunch of those. And then I got some of the um, cork, uh, sheets. I swear I have more of these. I have no idea where I put them. <laughs> they are somewhere in my stash and I, for the life of me, I can't find them. I have no idea where they are. I got a couple of mop heads because, you know, those are always great to craft with when you pull them apart. So I got a couple of those and then I got, check it out. They had a tarp. They had a tarp at the Dollar Tree. Now it's not huge, it's 48 by 72 inches or in centimeters, 120 by 180. So, but still, it'll work for my wood pile, right? There's that. And then I got, what is in here? It's heavy, more wrapped things. Uh-oh. Oh no, this one broke. I guess we were a little too rough with our bag. Okay, well hopefully this is the only one that broke. This is really pretty too. Um, yeah, this broke quite a bit. It was a pretty little bottle. Boo. Okay, that's all right. Things happen, so. That's a bummer. Let me see. I'm gonna try not to cut myself on the broken glass that I can see in here. Hopefully that's the only thing that broke. Um, I also have mugs because I need another mug. Like, like I need a hole in the head, but I love mugs and I love big mugs and it's red. So I needed it, right? I'll put something on it and maybe give it away as a gift. So, all right, let me see if I can get these. So you'll get a chance to see here what that bottle was supposed to look like. So see how pretty? And the other one was just that like cobalt blue color. But I think these are so pretty and they've got these little stoppers. I'm pretty sure that the stoppers were all different. So again, not sure what I'll do with them, but it'd be really pretty to, you know, have on like on a bathroom counter, maybe with, I don't know, I don't know if it's food safe, so I don't know if you could put mouthwash in it or something, but maybe, I mean, it's glass, so you would think that it might be, not sure, but you could also put sand in it from a vacation or something like that, and get creative taking off the broken glass. So here's another one. And this one has the little starfish on it. I just think they're so pretty. 
I really liked that cobalt blue one. Oh, wow. And then I got Dollar Tree. You guys, look how pretty this is. Can you see all the detail on that? And it's a nicely weighted glass bowl. So it'd be really pretty to use on your dinner table for serving stuff, especially, you know, at Thanksgiving and Christmas coming up. And it's glass. It's really, really pretty. So I think I actually got a few, uh, I got at least two of those. I might have gotten more, but let me see. I got two. I got three of them. And then I think the rest of it is my, my broken uh, little bottle. I wanted to see if I could find a little stopper for that. Yeah, there's the stopper. So this one had this little shell on top. So, yeah. But my cobalt one, it's uh, too, many pick uh, too many pieces of glass to salvage. So that's a shame. But, okay. And then... I was excited to see these because I have a larger one of these for Sammy um, that's under his food bowl and his water bowl. Um, it's probably twice the size of this, so that's why I got two of these, but a dollar for these. I can tell you the one that I bought, I want to say the other one was like $15. So I like having this, but the one that I have is black. And I have hard water here where I live. Even with the water softener, it's still kind of hard. And so the um, the calcium deposits or mineral deposits or whatever it is, it, it's almost impossible to get off. And so his little black mat just always looks dingy. So I thought, well, maybe if I try the white, maybe it won't look so bad. So, um, yeah. So I got some of those for Sam Dog. And then... I think the last set of stuff I got, and this is like a new thing for me, guys. So I ended up getting like every single possible scent that there was. Um, well, first of all, I got the little, what do you call candle lighters, right? So I got a bunch of those because I'm always in need of lighting my candles and whatnot. But then I got these um, incense. And I got a whole bunch of them. And they have the little incense trays. Some of them do too. So this might be the only one with a tray, but I, I don't have any incense trays, so I needed one. So I got a whole bunch. All right, here come the glasses again because I can't see. So they had so many. And if you know anything about incense and what the different scents do, leave me a comment and, and tell me like when I should be using which one. Um, so this one that has a little tray in it has 10 incense sticks and the holder. And this is, it just says Hosley Aromatherapy, energy, wind. So I guess it would give me energy if I burn that one. Now the other ones have 40 pieces in them, 40 for a dollar. So this one is throat. I don't know, does that mean if I have a sore throat, it should be? I'm using it or if it's is it more about things that might be coming from my throat so the way that I talk with people I, I don't know let me know third eye rose um, that's another third eye sacral sandalwood heart jasmine I think Devin was telling me that they're um I'm not going to be able to remember the word for it. There, I don't know, something about energy and the different places in your body that mm, I would know it if you said it, but it's not coming to me right now. Um, heart jasmine. So there were two different hearts. I've got the heart. Oh, no, wait. These are both jasmine, but it fooled me because it's different colors. I don't know why it's different colors. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that means anything or if it's just different colors and that's it. Um, sacral sandalwood, we've talked about that. Third eye rose, 
then there's root and crown. So those are the incense items that I picked up. And that is it, you guys. That's it. Fun haul, right? I got some new stuff for me. Hopefully you saw something new. I don't know if there's anything here that got you excited. I definitely was excited about some of the items. I love so much of this and I'm excited to start putting it to use and crafting with it. Can't wait to show you what I come up with. And until the next time, be well, be kind, and make it a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Take good care and please give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Bye.